Hello and welcome once again to Portal 2 here on Radioactive Thank you. Inc. I can't believe I'm thanking these people for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to Thanks society. Thanks for cutting me off. And for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, welcome back to Portal 2 here on Radioactive Inc. Now, if you have been following the series, we are, well, we're getting closer to the end. So... The series does not have much longer to go, and it will it will be uh, th this won't be the end because I think I'm gonna go through and play Portal Stories Mel as well the you know the kind of DLC piece to it because I I, I really want to run through that and see what it's like but you know we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it now as for this we are still within the Why do they keep interrupting me? Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. <laughs> but anyway, uh so we're still within the bowels of aperture here with the uh you know, the giant floating testicle spheres. And we're trying to work our way back up to stop Wheatley. And Gladys just realized something, which uh you know, of course, if you play the game, you already know what Gladys just realized. But, you know, I won't say anything. For now, I'm just going to figure out what it is I need to do. Okay, turn that on, that on, and that on. Yeah! Now the stuff's working. Run this lovely. Now, run, run, run. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> I have no idea why I thought that would work. And now, we bring you the sultry sounds of a Pepsi can. Great taste that you can always love. Yes, I am drinking Pepsi, mostly because I'm out of Mountain Dew. I drink a lot of Mountain Dew, and currently I'm out of Mountain Dew. Eh. Eh. Ha! <laughs> Game hacks. <laughs> because going around the normal way wastes too much time. And... Bouncy! <laughs> Alright, let's time this. Now! <laughs> Great timing. Uh... Gotta love it. You really gotta love it. Alright, so I need to figure out my way over there. There's a door there. There's platforms there. So let's shoot a portal there. And a portal here. And let's see if we can't make some magic. What do you say? Okay. So I'm here now. Now I can go there. And now I'm here. And... Now I'm out of ideas. Um, clearly something I'm missing. I know I couldn't open that door. I don't really know why I thought I could. Right. Um, sheet. 
what's down here. This is literally where I just came from. So that was not the correct location. I knew I was missing something. I knew I'd get it eventually. Now! Ah! See? I'm amazing. <coughs> Poor cave. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to face Poor out cave Johnson. Testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mix them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. Unlike gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. And do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Poor Cave. I mean, yes, his science was extremely deadly. But he wasn't a bad guy. I think. But, uh, I, you know what, I, I had a thought, I lost it. Time for a new thought. Okay, new track of thought here. So we are, uh, now that we're at the conversion gel state, we are slowly starting to reach the end of the game, which means that I'll have to find something new to play. No clue what that will be, but hey, try and have some fun with it, eh? And now I can cover everything in portal gel. And you get portal gel! And you get portal gel! Everyone get some portal gel! Yeah! Cover everything! So I don't really gotta do much now. The gel does the work for me. As you can see. So, I need to have one thou, and one thou, because I have to get enough to cover up that ramp. Yes! Splatter the ramp! Good. Now then, let's start covering this up, just because. Um, and this. Move it down a little bit. Make sure everything gets coated. Properly coated. It's just like painting. You know. Alright, a little bit higher. And we've got it! Whoa! And then that will launch me over there. Now... Ah, crap. Shooting it the wrong way. Damn it! It's alright. It's alright. I can work with this.
Perfect. Damn it. Almost perfect. You know, while I'm down here, let's just coat the floor a little bit. Yes! Science prevails! When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life <laughs> Make life rule the day and thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down. <laughs> I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> combustible lemon. The point is Combustible limits. Compact disc. Why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. <laughs> Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Poor cave. All he wanted to do was make science. Making science, making science, la la la. This is a really long way to go. Just saying. Alright, I'm gonna have to use this to my advantage. Alright, there is a portable surface somewhere. And I'm gonna have to use it to reach my goal. Wherever it may be. I know you're here. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, I messed that up, but you know what? Let, let's 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 try that again. Yes, got it. Okay. Um. I think I landed on the wrong side. Oh, wait, I can fix this. Duh! Haha! -ha, I win. Okay, so that is exactly where I needed to be. Now I need to get here. Shit. Alright, slowly. Got it! Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, I am I am completely messing this up. There's one there that I need to shoot so I can get there. I am messing this up, people. It never fails. I get to the end of the game, I really start to suck. Haha! -ha! <laughs> I figured it out. Well then, that was fun. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. 
<laughs> God, you, you really you can't help but just love the dialogue. But, uh, alright, that's where I'm going to cut this one off. Uh, I'm going to pick it right back up where I left off here in the next episode. So until then, everybody, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video around with your friends. And until the next time, I'm Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. Signing off.